Welcome back to Retire Too Soon. And today we're going to be doing the front and rear shocks on a second gen Ram. And if you like the content and it has value, please like and subscribe. Alright, thanks for tuning in. We're going to jump back to a younger me and we're going to start off with the rear shocks. Rear shocks, driver's side, ground, halfway point, 41 inches and a half. So that's before we change the old shocks. What are you going to need? You see on there is a 21 millimeter or a 13 16, which is going to be very tight, but it's 21 millimeter. You got two bolts, you know, one bolt here. And then, and then you have one nut up there. So it might be easier if you remove the spare tire. All right, let's break it loose. So once you get the old one out, which this one looks a lot longer because I just squeeze that in by hand. This is the part number I'm using for the rear shocks. So here's what it looks like when it comes out of the box. I cannot compress this by hand. If I put my weight into it, like on the ground, I can compress it. This, I mean, I guess it's on the ground, but see, it's easy and it's not even decompressing. So definitely worn out. But yeah, I could push it in by hand with some effort. So throw the junk. And then when you install it, the, sorry, yeah, big side goes up. So, it should be like this. So, let me reinstall it. Alright, make sure you get the top end first. And then you're going to put in the bottom bracket here. Use a screwdriver to line the holes up. And then you just push it through and tighten it down. Alright, get the last one in. Same we got the other side in. And you're done. Here you guys look. It's snowing. So, well, my hands are nice and frozen. And it's going to be two part. I don't know if you can see your focus. See how red my hand is from being wet and it's a little freezing out here. And I'm covered in snow and dirty. I'm going to put this with the front shocks, which is going to be a later time because I'm still waiting on them. All right, an update on the rear of the truck, the measurement. If it did anything, it just raised it about 3 sixteenths of an inch so but i'm sure it's gonna really improve the ride quality in the rear and when i get the front end it'll probably be even better so the passenger side seemed like it was even more useless than the driver's side and i thought the driver's side one was gonna be the bad one but they both were bad so definitely need to be replaced all right so i'll throw you back to the video in the future from now all right, driver's side. I'm gonna start with the front shock. The measurement is 38 and three quarters. We're gonna start by taking a 21 millimeter to the bolt right there. There's another on the side, which has a key that holds it in place. So you just need to take your impact and take it off on this side. Once you get that bolt out, you're gonna hear the nut fall off in the back. Then you're gonna come up and there's gonna be three nuts you need to take off. And they're gonna be 15 millimeter. There's two right here and there's gonna be one on the other side in the engine compartment. Before I break that third one loose, I'm gonna undo the top of the shock tower. I'm gonna use a three quarters wrench and a nine millimeter socket to hold the top so it doesn't spin this, the shock. So I kinda wanna show you how it's done. You put the socket on top of the nine millimeter, you take a three quarters, which is a little bit big, and then with both hands, you undo it. Once you undo the nut on top and undo the three nuts on the tower, make sure you take the rubber and the washer off. Remember which order they go in. The front shocks are definitely better than the rear 
can just see it pushed it straight up. What you're gonna wanna do is take the shock tower and you need to get it out. I don't know if you can see right there, but there's the shock tower. You can take it all the way out, but I think there's really no point because I'm gonna be putting the new one right back in. And to get the shock out, just push it down to compress it and then just pull forward and straight out. Comes out pretty easy after you compress it. Here's the old one. I don't know if we're gonna need this hardware because I haven't opened it up yet, which I'm getting ready to do with you. This is gonna be the front part number for the front shocks. Mine does not have a lift or any type of modification in the suspension. Here's the new shock. Looks like it comes with all the hardware you need. And we just go in reverse order. Just like we did on the rear, use the screwdriver to help you line up the hole. Stick the bolt in. And then when you get the nut, it's on the outer side here. And you just push it in and then line up with the bolt and turn it down flat side towards the shock and then just tighten it up all right so once you get done fighting the mount back on because you got to compress the shock push it down try to get one nut in and then I did the inside and then go to the outside and put another two so that was a little bit of a pain <sighs> anyways so next before you tighten it completely down so the center's not really lined up, try to compress it, and then take the hardware you have and make sure you put it on so you can tighten it down so it lines up in the center. All right, so what I use is a 17 millimeter closed with a six millimeter open to tighten down the shocks. Then go around and make sure that all your nuts and bolts and everything we're nice and tight and now you're ready to move on to the passenger side same process just gotta take off one thing and a little bit easier to get to uh, i do the measurement on it and it looks like it's at 39 so that's just with the driver's side done all right let's move on to the other side all right on the passenger side same process get a little bit more room but you just take off the air box hose going to the turbo so it gives you more room I right, see so I just loosened it up twisted it and moved it out of the way obviously for safety you want to make sure the truck is cooled down because you're working right next to the exhaust you know the turbo and everything and that could really burn you all right so I'm gonna continue taking this apart and the same process as the other side and reinstall once you get everything back together and your tools put away then you get a take it for a drive and enjoy all your hard work thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i'd like to thank my new subscribers and if you haven't done so already please subscribe hope this was helpful and until the next video thanks for watching bye